Welcome to the streets of Marrakesh. Now, just behind me is the incredible backdrop of the Atlas Mountains. But of course, we are here for one reason, and that is the Formula E race this weekend. But the other reason to kick off the weekend is the Innovation Summit hosted by DS Virgin Racing. Alejandro, to, to people that I suppose are perhaps new to Formula E, can you just explain a little bit about the history of what Formula E really is? So only electric cars race in this championship. We race in cities around the world because, well, for many reasons, but you know, if we, if we get it right on the cities, we're getting it right on the world because 75% of the people in the world are going to live in cities. You know, we started it four years ago. Now we are here in Marrakesh, COP22. And you know, happy to be here. I think we should meet each of our panelists individually first. I'm the CTO of the Virgin Racing Team. Um, the reason why I joined the championship is quite simple. I love motorsport, but I think motorsport is at its best when it's both extremely close racing and entertaining, but also relevant technology. I'm John Kreitz. I'm a managing director at Rocky Mountain Institute, and we're an institute that's dedicated toward really finding profitable ways to migrate toward a low carbon economy. Yes, yeah, so I'm a partner at BCG Digital Ventures, and what we do is we work with the world's largest firms to help them find new ways to grow by building new startups or investing in new startups. So we're at a new type of investment uh, in venture capital firm that doesn't really exist yet, where we both invent and invest. So RoboRace is the, is the first ever driverless electric racing series, and we call it the Championships of Intelligence. Well, we, we've chosen COP22, but more, they have chosen us. We're going to have the Secretary of Energy of the United States, the European Commissioner of Energy, many ministers, the Minister of Environment of Morocco, who is the host of the COP here at the race. About a quarter of the world's emissions are from transportation uh, related uh, carbon combustion. And so the switch to Formula E, the switch to electric vehicles, is phenomenally important um, in terms of overall helping uh, urban environments in particular as the world urbanizes, but the world in general uh, achieve a much more sustainable transportation system. Something as, as polarizing as new as this always makes people go, ah, you know, and when you see it and when you feel it and you get an emotion for it, you really understand that this is, this is a technology that really is going to transform people's lives and, and there's some real magic in that and, and we just want to spread that message. We can actually create a much more efficient, safer and more sustainable uh, transportation system that should be better for everybody. You can save money on electricity versus petrol, right? You can save money on maintenance uh, because electric cars are much simpler to, to maintain over time. What's the next big thing going to be in automotive? They're all talking about CASE, which is Connected, Autonomous, Sharing, Electric. Cars are used 4% of the time. Couple that with the fact that it's your second highest expense in the United States behind a mortgage. Couple that with the, the, the concept of one in four seats are taken, right? You have 25% occupancy in that car. Add those three things together, that's ripe for disruption. People are adapting, but it's also, you know, we're, we're solving problems. If you have a smooth path, people are gonna go down it. And let's look at the dynamics of this industry. You can't argue with this. The cost of batteries has come down 65% in the last five years. It'll come down another 65% in the next five to 10 years. In many countries, you are actually going to help the grid, not penalize it. Because all the grids in all the countries have to become more renewable. So they will do that. You need some batteries to buffer that amount of energy coming in. And electric cars will be used as the buffer battery. And then if you go beyond, you know, we need to have electric buses all around cities because it makes complete sense. Formula E has played an important role in raising the awareness and consciousness, but it's the market that will do the rest. And probably the biggest market that's driving it right now is China. If you're a major auto manufacturer and you want to play globally and you want to play in the Chinese market, you have to have an electric model. Yeah. The bigger ecosystem than electric cars needs to be explained and we need, to, uh, we need to make sure everyone gets and understands that point. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. It's been an absolutely fantastic session. Justin, John, Alejandro, Sylvain and John. And make sure you join us next time for the next DS Virgin Racing Innovation Summit.